I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy when I, I checked with Ravi Kumar sir from the MGM. So in that time, I found out that my weight was over 120 kg and I was uh, diagnosed with uh, ascites as well. Uh, it was diagnosed by Ravi Kumar sir and he asked me to come to the Chennai to uh, MGM Healthcare Center to have a study of my heart transplantation. So I came to Chennai and he found out that there was a problem with my heart and it was pumping uh, little about 15 to 20 percent and in that sense I have met Dr. Balakrishnan on that front. In that Balakrishnan sir diagnosed me with ascites and he told that uh, you need to have a heart transplant and I was shocked at that time first when I found out that uh, that would require a heart transplant for me. Uh, in that this journey, it took me about two years to prepare mentally and uh, be uh, strong in that sense, like physically as well as mentally. First one was I had to reduce my weight from 120 to 81 kgs. So I started with diet and my physical activities like walking and other stuffs. But one thing which I've helped was the meditation. So meditation, I started through the, my Guru Sri Shankar Maharaj, where I've started the meditation. So meditation uh, provided me the, some positiveness in my life and also provided me the approach to the heart transplantation. Uh, American Heart Standard has also suggested that the meditation is one of the greatest thing which can help you in the journey of heart transplantation. And then coming to the heart transplantation, uh, it was a great service provided by MGM Healthcare, like doctors as well as Dr. Balakrishnan and Ravi Kumar and Suresh Rao sir. I'm very thankful to them. They were like near about to me as a God who have saved me from the, doing the heart transplantation for me. Uh, the next one, I would say that again, the positiveness of this and looking the journey of heart transplantation was through the rehabilitation team. Like after doing the transplantation and doing the operation on yourself, then the recovery is important criteria where the rehabilitation team helps us in that sense. And the rehabilitation team also provided me with the meditation, then the rehabilitation program like walking, then uh, boosting myself and providing the help on a regular basis like what strength uh, and weaknesses you have and how you can overcome it. So I would suggest that uh, you regularly follow the rehabilitation program which is provided by physiotherapy team in MGM Healthcare Center. This would really help you to gain your confidence then gain yourself and the meditation is which is an important thing. So your approach would be positive towards your journey of becoming a successful into the heart transplantation journey, I would say. Uh, so one of the meditation, I would say like it's a simple, like you have to close your eyes. And if you have the spirituality in you and you can have some mantras, you can put it on yourself and you can meditate and think of positive cultures in your life and what are the positive outcomes you would be getting from the heart transplantation. So that is one thing. One of the exercise would be the breathing. Uh, lip breathing. So how it can be shown, I would say, uh, uh, tell you the example. You have to just take a breath and slowly then coughing technique is there. <coughs> <coughs> So this is the cuffing technique. Other than that, there are some hand exercises you can take it like this. So from standing point of view, I will show you some of the techniques what we can do. One is the marching. So you have to march like this. Or, and this, or you can go, you can keep the hand here and march and stand still on this. So you can march. So this can be done by like two minutes to five minutes again. And the next one is the walking, which you can take with the help of our physiotherapist as well as uh, the rehabilitation team while walking. So you can walk. Then the wrist turning is there. You can run your wrist 
and each exercise you can do like about a, a two minutes interval or five minutes interval and I would another one I would suggest like if possible if you can sit on a chair for like five to six hours in a day that would help us because if you have a weakness or if you want to test yourself I would say like you should uh, do the meditation regularly for at least uh, two minutes per day or five minutes per day and also sit on the chair wherever required like if you uh, because th this will help you to gain your momentum back again what we are previously before the heart transplantation was done on you so that would be help helpful for you.